going to demonstrate how to model the stack in the miniature train. And we're going to revolve this shape. So we're only going to draw half of it. And as I sketch it, I'm going to be adding sizes, numeric constraints, dimensions here, and geometric constraints to save me some time. So I'm just drawing this profile here. I'm not exactly sure where everything gets lined up, but we're going to draw it as a solid because the other thing we're going to do is use the hole tool to cut out that hole in the top. I'm going to create a line up here because in the drawing it gives me a, an angular measurement of this exterior of the stack. So I'm going to dimension this angle to be 15 degrees and then I will add my exterior dimensions here, my overall. And remember they give you a diameter. We got to divide that to, by 2 for our radius because we're only drawing the profile. Add my heights here up to that point it says 1.5 and your overall height is going to be 1.75 those are all the dimensions I need I can go ahead and revolve this I'll finish the sketch look at it isometrically choose revolve it automatically selects the shape for the profile and I just need to choose this center axis to revolve it around itself choose OK I'm ready to use the whole tool I'm gonna make sure I choose concentric because I can choose this top plane and then this circle as my concentric reference to locate it and reading the drawing it's a counterbore and the information I'm given is the counterbore diameter is 0.875 that counterbore depth is 0.375 the overall hole depth is going to be 1.5 and the hole diameter itself is 0.375 I will choose OK. And then I want to show you a trick here. Uh, I drilled a hole, but I, I know I did it wrong. Uh, I need to fix something. So I'm going to go to View, and click on Visual Style, and show you the wireframe of this to make it uh, really pop. And you notice this drill point is pointed. It's not a flat bottom. So I need to fix that. So I'm going to edit this feature while I'm looking at it in Wireframe View, and say Edit Feature. And right here on the hole tool, I'm just going to make it a drill point flat. Choose OK, and I'm good to go. Change that visual style back to shaded. And the last note on the drawing, it says, if you want, it's optional, go ahead and add a chamfer on the bottom edge. So let's do that. Let's chamfer this bottom edge. Choose your distance or your um, value first, 0 0.01 it notes. And if you just choose this first, op first option, it is a 45 degree angle that it cuts the chamfer at. So I'm going to say OK on that bottom edge, and that's my final stack.